Hello and welcome to our first video as part of our Spring Malt and Barley series of videos. The focus of this video will be on both nitrogen rate and timing for spring malt and barley crops in order to optimise grain protein at harvest time. Drilling dates this year are variable across the region, with some crops drilled in early March, like these on our Strabelli and Ross monitor farms. More spring malt and barley crops were drilled approximately a week to 10 days ago, and are now just starting to emerge, like this crop in Kilkenny, with the remainder of the spring malt and barley area most likely to be drilled in early April. The most ideal timing for application of nitrogen to all of these crops is at the one to two leaf stage of crop growth, or when tram lines are visible within the field. The optimum rate of nitrogen to apply to a spring malt and barley crop that has been drilled on a long-term tillage site can be seen on the slide. For brewing barley, apply a total of 150 kilos a hectare or 120 units an acre with 100 kilos or 80 units at the one to two leaf stage. For distilling crops, apply a total of 130 kilos a hectare or 104 units an acre with 90 kilos a hectare or 72 units at the one to two leaf stage. In situations where there's a possibility of excess soil nitrogen being present, such as where catch crops have been grazed prior to spring malt and barley being drilled. Reduce total nitrogen application by approximately 15 kilos a hectare to ensure that grain protein comes in within spec. So in conclusion, our three take home messages in relation to nitrogen application on spring malt and barley is firstly, apply at the one to two leaf stage or tram lines visible of crop growth. Secondly, apply 150 kilos a hectare of nitrogen on brewing barley and 130 kilos per hectare on distilling barley. And finally, in situations where there's a possibility of a high level of nitrogen within soil, reduce levels of total nitrogen by 15 kilos per hectare in order to maintain grain protein at harvest time.